Today we're back at it with another flight in a confined space. I'm thinking this is probably about five feet wide. On our previous flight in this area, we used these prop guards and we got through here and we flew in and around these posts. No problem whatsoever. I wonder if we will have the same level of success this time without the prop guards. The way I understand the system, the sensors might have been knocked out because of the prop guards. We'll have to see. So let's fire it up and fly it back through here and the limbo in the fence gate and see how we do. And we're back in good graces with FAA. Once you put these prop guards on, you have to register this because it's over 250 grams. Slight breeze. Temperature is 54 degrees. We're starting this up. And we're going to do the same routes we did before with the prop guards on, only without, and see if it will be okay flying without the prop guards and it will avoid hitting things. Let's take off. And here we go. Okay, so we're getting warning indications right away, as whereas we didn't get it before. Whoa, careful there, Buggeroo. All right, we're getting a little bit of drift. Interesting. I don't know if it's trying to avoid this or what. It looks like it's trying to avoid going through. Slowly take it in. Well, that wasn't very slow. You can hear the warnings. There's warnings everywhere. It seems to be maneuvering itself fairly well. I'm moving up behind it. All right, it doesn't like going. It's kind of refusing to go forward. Let's see if Ray is up. Maybe that helps it a little bit. No, it just won't go through. Let's see if we can change its orientation. It's just real uncomfortable. It's refusing. All right, let's back it up a little bit and see if we can sashay. It's just not doing anything. Can we rotate it on the spot? A little bit. By the way, that's not a blank screen, that's just the post. Wow, so it just doesn't even want to fly. Look at that red, red, red. Let's see if we can put it forward. It's refusing to go anywhere. Interesting. Wow, this could be a real short flight. Okay, so I'm pushing full controls laterally on the right stick, nothing. Pushing forward on the right stick, nothing. Pushing aft on the right stick, nothing. A little bit of, okay, now it's trying to nudge over. Now we're in a predicament. Don't go forward, we won't go back. It's going up a little bit. Let's see if we'll go down. I don't want it to land there, there's a chair right in the way. Okay, it will go up and down ever so slightly. Okay, so I'm gonna grab it. It won't even let me grab it. Ha ha ha. We're in a predicament here. Let's see if I try to grab it again. Nope, it avoids me. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move some chairs and land it on the deck right here, if it will let me. Well, 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 that was very interesting. It flew in here and it was okay, although it was all red, but it would just not fly past this spot right here. 
and I was trying to get it to do the same thing I did with the guards on and fly through here. So there was absolutely nothing going on. In a space like this, you get it in there, it's not going to like it at all. Now let's see if we can launch it in this space and fly it through. So we'll put it down on the deck. Reestablish it and see if it will take off. We're going to yellow take off, no GPS. Okay, it's going up. Now we'll see if we'll fly out. Well, it will fly out of a confined area. Rotate it around. What will happen if it tries to fly into a tree? Okay, so there's this tree it's going to avoid. So we're going to bring it down a little bit and see what it does when it tries to fly into this tree. We're going to go slow. As I point it towards the tree, it's avoiding it. So let's take it over to the limbo course. Uh, it wants to go up over the top. It doesn't want to go through. Let's try it again here. Get a little over. Let's see if we can get any closer. Give it some confidence. Lower it down. Inch it towards the front. See, it wants to fly over the top of it. it does not want to fly down. Let's see if we can fly it backwards. This is a little risky, but... Yep, you know, it wants to go over the top. And then it comes down through the area. Okay, we'll get it down in here. Sashay it a little bit to here. Get it down lower. And see if we'll fly through. All right, it's, it's landing. It just automatically landed. Interesting. In here, with the prop guards, no problem. Flew all the way around. We actually went through this rather confined space right here. That's probably a couple inches on both sides. So that was impressive with the prop guards. It didn't, it totally rejected it without the prop guards when it was using the sensor. You could hear the sensor, it was all red. It was pretty crazy. It did fly through here. Kept going past the door and came all the way to where this chair is, and then it just froze. I could raise it up a little bit, I could raise it a little down, but it just didn't want to go that way, and it didn't want to go this way, forward or backwards. <laughs> so I actually had to move this chair over there so I'd have a clean area for it to land. And after a couple of little nudges, I did get it to land right about here. Well, actually where that chair is, right here on the porch. Thumbs up and comments, always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in all sorts of quadcopter tests, flight test, so we can figure out what the potential of this little guy is. Designs of all kinds, making and breaking things. I evaluate and design electronics and photography equipment. I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe. Because you never know what kind of confined spaces you may see.